For some students, today is just another day off, but other kids are getting to work to help clean up their school and convert it from a shelter back to a gym after Hurricane Matthew. Today, I hung out with the students at Butler High who said what they learned this weekend goes far beyond the classroom. This is not a church or a Friday night football game. It's not a hair salon either. This was this past weekend at Butler High, as students and staff rallied with bulldog tenacity to make an unfamiliar school home for hundreds of Hurricane Matthew evacuees. Well, these kids were amazing. And again, it's those small things that you think kids can't do, but it was a major help to, par to parents and people who were just under tremendous stress. Using distraction as comfort in a time where people needed an escape from reality. It was a lot of them that was like real, real scared, but we still came and helped them. You just want to uh, just remember, they're, they're human beings, so you want to treat them just like you want to be treated. The last bus of evacuees rolled out at 8.30 this morning. So today, the school is quiet and mostly empty, except for the few remaining volunteers. But even on a day off from school, you'll find these students still walking the halls, helping clean up. It's nothing like helping people. It's just the feeling I get from helping others. It's like it brings me a, a tight joy that I, I just want to get happy. This weekend, these high schoolers brought that dose of happy to a crowd that was happy to finally have some normalcy. At this point of time, I know they're dealing with a very rough situation because their homes and how much wreckage it could be there. I just want to at least put a smile on their face, just to let them know they're not alone. We're yeah. all here. Do you think it's changed you a little bit? It, it, a, little bit. a little lot. It made me just look at life so, so differently. Like, made me take a whole different type of perspective on life. And while it wasn't a normal day in the classroom, it might have been their most important lesson yet. I love these guys, man. I love these guys. I love well, Dr. Mabry says she couldn't be more proud of her students and her teachers. They did everything from hauling trash and cleaning toilets to rocking babies that needed soothing this weekend. And she says thanks to everyone's help and the school district's plan, they will be ready for school again on Wednesday. What a great group of students there, Christy. Thanks for that.